Okay, so many of you guys were wondering, how did you make the image correspond with the colors on the template? So I'm going to show you guys how I did that. So first, go ahead, and if you guys want, like, Pokemon for your uh, thing, search Arceus, or however you spell it, it's A-R-K-E-I-S. Even if you, I don't know if that's even spelled right, but even if it isn't, you can get all these great pictures, and the borders don't mess up. Like, they're not different colors of white, so it should all work. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just pick Magnazone here, because, like I said in the other video, like Regigigas, Magnazone is also a beast. So go ahead and just right click and copy that, uh, the image, and then go into a blank uh, paint document. And go ahead and just paste it in there and just move it around to the middle. So what you do next is you go into your template. And you go ahead and go to the little eyedropper tool. And you go ahead and just uh, right click in one of the boxes, the box that you want to put it in. And then just go to the selection tool right there. And then left click and drag just a little portion in the middle. Just make sure to get right in the middle there. Right click and copy that. Then go back to your other paint document and go ahead and just paste that in there. Just you can do control V or just you know right click and then paste. So you have that little portion right there. And that's the color that you want. So go ahead and click the eyedropper tool again and right click, okay? Right click on the gray, okay? That is meaning that is going to overlay the black. So now go back to the black and left click it. And now it should look like that in the top left. You see how the black is over the gray. And go to the paint bucket and right click in all of those uh, black spots. Now you should uh, go ahead and just, you know, put it the paint everywhere and go ahead and do the selection tool and select magnazone again just a little portion around it don't get it too big though because it has to fit in your box so then basically just um, scroll on down to wherever you want to put the uh, picture go ahead and paste it in there and just find a spot I'm just gonna go at the bottom here and put it in and it should match up perfectly so if that uh, yeah uh, hopefully that answered a lot of your questions uh, because a lot of you guys were wondering how did you do that and uh, to answer some questions with some images they have different shades of white and that's why you'll get these like really fuzzy outlines around them so just use the RKS pictures because um, they're rendered correctly and they don't have uh, those little fuzzy white lines so you should get a pretty uh, solid image right there and uh, I'm just doodling around I'm just drawing a smiley face here but uh, if you guys, uh, this is just a response to the uh, main video, which is telling you how to make a background with just paint. So uh, go ahead and check that out. I'll uh, leave that in the link to the description. And yeah, so hopefully that answers your questions. For all you guys who are having a little difficulty with that, subscribe, rate, and comment.